most of the patients whether it's ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease they have an overlap of few symptoms like diarrhea they can have a stool number of times per day 5 to 10 times per day they can have motions which are loose stools or you can call it as semi-solid stools with mucus with pus with blood or without blood most of the patients who have ulcerative colitis will have blood in the stool whereas Crohn's disease it's rare to have blood in the stool patient may have abdominal pain tenesmus we call it as crampy abdominal pain while passing stool they can have weight loss night sweats fever they can also have a uh, loss of appetite, patient may have a failure of growth retardation in if it is involving pediatric population. S patients with inflammatory bowel disease can present sometimes with complications with severe abdominal pain, distension of abdomen, perforation with obstruction in Crohn's disease or fistula formation with pus discharge from different sites. S sometimes patient can present with massive bleeding in the presence in a state of shock.